What up my fellow Wasteland Wanderers, in this video I'm going to be showing you the top 5 mods for Fallout 4 that released in March. All of these mods are available for Fallout 4 on PC, but some are also available on other platforms. I'll let you know for each mod as we go through the top 5. Links can also be found in the description to all of the mods I mentioned in this video. Let's get started. At number 5 we have an extremely simple mod that completely transforms your game called Immersive Squeaky Doors, only available on PC. The mod author has figured out why it's so hard to find oil in Fallout 4. It's because someone's been going around using it on all the doors. Ugh, it's so unimmersive, it hurts my ears. Immersive squeaky doors simply replaces the opening and closing sound for most of the common types of doors so that they actually sound like they were abandoned for a hundred years. Ah, it sounds like God opening the gates of heaven. A great mod that adds a surprising amount of immersion to your game. The type that you never knew you needed, but now you won't be able to play Fallout without it. At number 4 we have another mod that starts with the word immersive. Immersive Fallout. This mod changes a hell of a lot, with the end goal of making your game more immersive. Available on PC, PS4 and Xbox One. One of the main changes is the effect it has on recoil. Ballistic weapons now have a more dramatic and harder to control recoil that you really notice, meaning that you have to seriously control your automatic weapons and shoot in short bursts. However, laser weapons now have no recoil because, you know, light doesn't have mass, so laser weapons have a huge advantage over all other weapons in this game whilst using this mod. Some of the other changes include humans generally move much slower and different types of weapons affect mobility, sneaking is slower, strafing is slower, Aiming down sight will now significantly slow you down whilst on the move. Power armor movement has been modified to suit the weight of power armor, however it's been compensated with heavier weapons are more manageable when you're wearing power armor. Creatures are also changed with death claws being more agile and faster. Hounds are also faster and almost all creatures have been looked at and tweaked. There are different editions of the mod in case you don't like some parts of it. There's a movement only edition that only changes movement, a recoil edition that only changes recoil, a humanless edition that adds everything but doesn't affect the player or other human NPCs. There are also some additional options including a music overhaul, unforgiving recoil, realistic jumping and vanilla laser recoil. This mod isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea, but if you're an immersion freak you'll feel right at home with this mod. At number 3 we have Cross Rugger Mark V, available on PC and Xbox One. This adds the Rugger Mark V pistol to Fallout 4 via scripted leveled lists. It can be crafted at a chemistry station or purchased at a weapons vendor. You can even find a special version of the pistol with an integrated silencer in the admin office in Fort Strong. The customization in this mod is next level. Science opens up the infuser attachments, which can add cryo, flame, or plasma damage. There are 10 different barrels, all with very unique benefits, such as the hunter barrel, which does 10% more damage to animals and bugs. There are four different grips, including rifle grips that allow you to benefit from the rifleman perks. There are four different iron sights in different colors, three types of mag for 0.38 ammo and 0.22 LR ammo, and two different mags for plasma ammo. There are a few different muzzles, including a suppressor, an upper rail, which allows for additional mods, underbarrel attachments, such as tactical lights and laser sights. There are a good amount of sights, including scoped and hollow sights, and a bunch of skins that are separate for the barrel receiver and grip, so that you can really customize the look of the weapon. And all of this customization allows you to really create your own unique, tailored version of the pistol without feeling overwhelming. The gun looks great, Feels great, is fun to use, and in general, just is great. 100% worth a download. Next up, we have the Battlefield 1 Animation Pack for the Hunting Rifle, only available on PC. This adds new first-person animations for drawing the hunting rifle, sprinting with the rifle, and reloading the rifle, based on the animations for a few different weapons in Battlefield 1. It also adds new sounds, similar to the sounds of rifles in Battlefield 1, all done without actually using any assets from Battlefield 1. That's pretty impressive. The animation looks better than vanilla, and it even has the added bonus of being able to shoot more bullets at a faster rate than you could with the vanilla animations. And it makes it a right-handed rifle, and this is a huge improvement on the vanilla animations for the hunting rifle. I love using the hunting rifle as it's super satisfying to pop a raider's head off from long range with one bullet, and these animations make the hunting rifle even more fun to use, making it one of my favourite weapons in the game. 
game. There is absolutely no reason not to download this mod. Download it now. And finally, at number one, the best mod for Fallout 4 that released in March is the Aquila Laser Rifle, available on PC and Xbox One. This mod released quite late into March, and as of recording this, it already has 42,000 unique downloads in just over a week, and it's easy to see why. You can find the rifle by travelling east of the Boston Mayoral Shelter and taking care of a couple renegades. and looting the weapon from one of them, or you can find one neatly placed on the desk inside the checkpoint office. There is a decent amount of customization, including base and boosted condenser, which affects damage and battery consumption. The battery consumption refers to the way reloading works with this weapon. You have a battery instead of a magazine, so the less battery consumption each shot uses, the more shots you have before you need to replace the battery slash reload the gun. However, each shot still uses one fusion cell. There are three barrels, automatic, sniper, and improved sniper. You can change the color of the laser to blue instead of red. There are two unique sight models with lots of settings with more to be added in the future updates. There are nine unique reticles for the reflex sight and nine for the optic scope in blue or red. You can also increase increase the damage by up to 100% and increase the zoom of your sight. There are five material modifications that act as skins, which include broken glass, dirty, futuristic material, hellfire, and hemp. And finally, there are mods that change the laser's damage to add radiation damage, fire damage, or explosion damage. By far the best thing though about this mod is the aesthetics of the rifle. It's a new unique weapon model that looks sleeker and cleaner than the vanilla laser rifle and looks more modern and militarized. It's very well made with some nice intricate details that make it really stand out. If you like the look of the weapon and prefer it to the look of the vanilla laser rifles, then you really should just download this mod and use this instead of vanilla laser rifles. So that takes us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around to the end. If you liked it, leave a like and hit subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers, so if you could help me get there, it would be much appreciated. If you really liked the video and you want to make sure that you don't miss any of my future videos, make sure you turn on the notifications by pressing the bell next to the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Good luck out there in the wasteland.